was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important person? It seems Sir Roderick is the one to talk to. Shall we go and speak with him? Follow me, Master, if you would. I'll bring you to the one you seek. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. This might be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the Magistrate refused her, for he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your Majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the Magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, Your Majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. I'd gladly accompany you into the palace if I could, Master. But my kind are only permitted as far as the entrance. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. One wakestone shard is a mere rock. But combined, they can work miracles. We must take care not to throw it away by mistake.
Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I suppose all we can do is wait. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof? that you are arisen, as you say. Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be? Hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. It is a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bell? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. A place to quench one's thirst for knowledge, eh? I'll admit, it is an intriguing prospect. My master told me that the slums hide many secrets. Man. App, we ought to investigate for ourselves. Of course. The answer was staring me right in the face.
I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. Would that I ne'er had cause for short stint. Good to see you, Master. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. A new destination calls to you, I take it. Well, say no more. I look forward to seeing where you take us. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. My head hurts just thinking about it. My legs are fair enough. This place gives me a real feeling. Was I lacking in devotion? I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah. Hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. 
I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? It would seem we've a need to scrounge up information. It is tedious work, but I suppose we'd best get to it. I knew it to be so. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. Is there aught I can assist you with? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Good day, sir. Is there aught I can assist you with? Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Shall we report back now? Just where are these vaults exactly? Let us return to Sir Kendrick. Perchance he will know more. I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Pick 
up every little thing you find, and your pack will soon outweigh you. Well, I know it, yet I cannot seem to resist. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurer's trade. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly. Perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought not lose sight of our guide. Is that you say? I grant your weapon a magical boon. I've got a good feeling about this one. Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. Tis surely at any scholar's dream. With adequate skill and focus, no enemy is beyond defeat. I expect you'd feel rather inadequate then, should our enemy get the better of us. That won't happen. We always manage, somehow. I must ask you to refrain from charging off. Teamwork is the crux of our strategy. Don't be such a worry, Wart. I know what I'm doing. Hoi! Uh, how do you do? We're going this way now, I suppose. Ugh, by your will. Uh, perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this, eventually. <laughs> Is there no getting through this door? Time we had ourselves a meal. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew.
Do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Do not to me. Do you intend to take me with you this time?
come along.
not. Am I expected to accept this? Absurd! Do you intend to take me? I. this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. like this make me glad to be alive. I'm unsure how best to proceed. <laughs> I'd sooner stay out of the best very I can ask for no more than that. How intriguing. Master, pray let me know beforehand if we are to meet somewhere different. Do take care not to stray so far next time.
Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. I have no issue falling asleep. You! There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts.